it's me, your host, Amy from Pandventure, and like always, welcome to the channel again. This will be another personal collection update video. In this video, I'm gonna showcase one of the most expensive, important fund band in my personal collection, and also the story behind it. Stay tuned. If you are still present after hearing that title being the most important, expensive writing instrument in my personal collection and with a nice story behind, I thank you for that. Before going into that story, I'm gonna ease you guys into that one. I'm gonna show you one of the last font pens that I've added to my personal collection. And let's see, what do we have here? This, my friends, is the latest addition to my personal collection, and it is the Leonardo exclusive Momento Zero Grande in Midori Taminuri. Just like you've seen in the video review, I've added this font pen to my personal collection because I tend to keep one pen for my pen museum, for my legacy in uh, my collection, so this had to stay with me. We sold it out in three hours from launch. All of my gratitude goes out to you for the persons that are supporting our small business. I hope you guys will cherish and love this founder bands because I do love to create them. I do love to own them. On my personal pen, I end up using a Yovo fine nib. I've switched from the elastic extra fine to a fine. Also excuse my manicure and my nails because I have been working to adjust every single nib from the Urushi project and from the Momento Magico, and they will be out to your location very, very soon. In the next few days, you will be united with them. So I tend to use my nails to adjust the nibs. Whenever you see my fingers looking like this, it's from hard, hard work. My father had the saying, dirty hands means clean money. So yeah. Noted. Now that we put this one aside, the Leonardo Momento Zero Grande in Urushi, exclusive to Panventure, Midori Tamenuri, green. Now I think it's time to address that elephant in the room. And um, gee, I don't know even where to start, but I'm gonna tell you the story of this fun pen. You guys know that recently I have sold my classic pants LB5. It is very rare when you see one for selling these days. Those fun pens are the stuff of legends, if you ask me. They're based on uh, the King of uh, Pen, and they're made by Andreas Lambrou, and it is a collaboration project made in Diffusion Bond Acrylic, and it is one of those fun pens that I've loved from the first time that I've seen. You guys know that I'm not super, super old in this hobby, but I do remember watching the true OGs of those times, those being uh, Stephen Brown and uh, Matt Armstrong. And uh, I don't know if Matt is watching this, but hey, I've came a lot since uh, you brought me into contact with Classic Pants and uh, the creations of uh, Andreas Lambrou. I immediately was catch on the idea of owning one. They didn't come cheap back then, but in our days they are pretty, pretty expensive. I have sold mine and you guys know the story. If you're not familiar with that story, I'm gonna link the video someplace up here or up here, and you can watch the video of that story, but don't click now, just hear me out, because it went to a good home to a friend of mine, Marcel, and he is in love with that fountain pen, and I am simply very, very happy. But just like I told you in that video, that left the gap, which I needed to fill with another fountain pen, as much important as that one. You guys are going to be introduced to something very special. Uh, a few weeks ago, almost a month ago, I've uh, seen another fountain pen which captured my attention. It was the fountain pen that I have been looking for since my day one or day two. It's a classic pen LB5, shockers. Those fountain pens were released in two separate nib options. It was the normal nib, 21 karat gold, uh, medium and broad from the Sailor King of Pan series, 
but there was also a specialty nib, the cross point. It is a Nagahara nib, which was a specialty nib, cross point, from the first moment that I've seen Stephen Brown owning one with that nib, I wanted to own one. They are not, not available. Pretty much you can't find them. Of course, you can still find uh, the ones that are modern, made by Sailor on their specialty. I think you can find them on the Rialo 1911, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that. But they are not made by the same nibmeister who made the Nagahara nibs. They are stacked nibs with the tipping shaped very very nice so recently something showed up on the internet i've jumped to the occasion of owning that pen did it come cheap no it was worth it a hundred percent yes pens like this it's only first day so you need to jump to the occasion and to have it for myself that was the time that i decided that i want to have it and another funny story, I don't know if most of you know, but all of my pens that I own, I tend to keep looking for number, for the limited edition number, number three or 33 or 333. It is something with 13 and 33 and the number three, I don't know, it keeps showing up. The house number where I live is 13. Car number plate that arrived was 333. And uh, most of the pens that I own are number 333 or 33 or three or 13. The number on the office door right here on our location is 103. <laughs> and it keeps showing up everywhere. It is not even a joke. And I'm not even looking for it. and I'm smiling each and every time that I'm seeing this. So the number that showed up for sale on the internet was number 13, an LB5. And guess what was the color of that fountain pen? I sold the purple one, so I ended up finding the purple number 13. Now talk about destiny right there. This pen came with the cross point nib. And this is a spectacular spectacular nib. What captured my imagination of owning this pen is the way that this nib is writing. So that is exactly what I want to show you guys. I am not a huge, huge lover of uh, super broad nibs, but I do have a few exceptions from this rule, this being one of them. So as you can probably see, we have the pen and oh boy, I wanted to say pen and I wrote pen venture. So, <laughs> and the pen is a uh, classic pens LB5 with a cross point nib and this is not like triple broad is quadruple broad so it is a super super wet nib the vertical lines of this nib are a little bit more skinnier and the horizontal ones are very very broad but this is not the only thing that makes this nib special let's just say that if you angle the fountain like this you will get a extra fine size if you brought it down a little bit more you can see a much more finer to medium here you have a broad and if you put it like this you have a double broad or even a triple broad so this nib is very very special it's smooth it's not like an architect although the writing shows to be just like an architect it is not it's very very wet smooth with a hint of a feedback and it is just heaven on earth i am happy to have this fountain pen in my personal collection we're going to get it ready for a fountain pen review on the channel but till then i'm happy that i could share it ahead of time with you guys in this format we are going to update the list down below and we are going to put these two pens. We have the exclusive Pen Venture 
Leonardo Momento Zero Grande in Midori Taminuri, and the Sailor, well, it's not a Sailor, it's a classic pen, LB5, purple with a cross point nib. Well, now I think it will be the good time to drop the mic because, well, I'm finally ready to say that I've nailed, scored, got, collected the most important found pen with the most important story for me. And that is quite, quite a long waiting time. I'm thinking that it was like maybe three to four to five years since I'm looking for this found pen. So it's a very, very rewarding moment to be in my shoes at this time and to actually get my hands on such a pen and to have it in my personal collection. I hope you enjoyed content like this and uh, I hope you guys can resonate with my passion and uh, the way that I'm feeling at this moment and uh, I'm thankful because due to you guys, uh, pen venture, uh, this YouTube channel and everything that means uh, my passion, I could justify having such a fountain pen and not only having it closed under a display glass or kept someplace, no, it's going to be on the channel, it's going to be showcased with you guys. I just want to say that if you want to support me doing uh, Pen Venture and this passion, you can subscribe to the Pen Venture YouTube channel. You can do that by clicking here and turn the notification bell on. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, this will help me a lot. And if you want to see more quality content from Penventure and myself, you can click on this video right here and enjoy. That's it. My name is Emmy, and I'll for seeing you next video. Stay safe, stay strong, take care, right on. Bye-bye.